Okay, I think we all know what this means. I'm about to give some advice. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a girl talk video. Oh my god, my, my flies are done. As you can tell, I'm such a girl, as I was saying. Today's video is gonna be a girl talk video. I wanted to do one of these for so long, and I asked on Instagram the other day for questions from you guys, and I've got them on my phone. I'm just gonna answer them. So yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're not already, so you can ask me some questions if I do this again if make sure you subscribe to my channel check out some of my other videos let's get into some girl talk okay pads or tampons wow off to a great start you know what we all get periods it's fine quick story time about my period i started mine when i was like 14 i think and i literally cried like i knew what to expect i knew it was coming but when it did i literally cried and called my at work and she had to come home <laughs> Anyway, pads or tampons? I tried to put tampons in when I first started and I have not cried like that in my life. The pain for me was unreal. I don't know if it's because I was so young, but I just, it literally scarred me for life. So maybe, I don't know, in the future I'll try it again because I feel like I prefer them now. To be honest, I probably did it wrong because so many people wear tampons, but I just, it really did scar me. For life how to tell your parents that you're dating someone from a different race culture and religion all the triple whammy okay i feel like if you're not okay one sec i feel like in certain cultures this is more of an issue like i know in the asian culture it's quite a big thing in some families to date outside of your religion and even caste but then again for other families it's completely open it just it depends on a lot of things but for advice on this i'm just going to take it as your parents probably would have an issue with it if okay if this is someone that you're serious enough with to introduce to your parents, that says one thing, that they're a decent enough person. So that's a good thing. I think a lot of our parents were raised on different values. It's a touchy subject, I can do a separate video on the whole culture thing. But I think when it comes to it, parents want you to be happy. And if this guy or girl makes you happy and you've even got to the stage of thinking of introducing them to your parents i feel like you just have to start off easy like maybe start off with one you normally have a softer parent maybe start off with them or maybe start off with a sibling and kind of ask them for advice i do realize that it's easier said than done for me though because i wouldn't even have to go through that so i'm just telling you to tell them and i know it's not that simple so i feel like as well with culture it's a lot to do with the morals of that culture so if you kind of tell your parents how this person I'm assuming they're a good person. How this person fits in with those morals and is a good person, then I feel like coming from a different culture or religion becomes less of an issue because there's similarities in values. Because everyone just wants their kids to be with a good person at the end of the day. And yeah, it is that's a sticky one, but I feel like your parents will understand if the person's that important to you. Wow, we started off deep. How do you make something positive out of something negative? I have the best example for this. So, as you know, I failed my driving test five times and driving in general has been one of the hardest things I've done in my life, if not the hardest thing. But I just decided one day that I was learning to drive and I wanted to film it and film the journey because I felt like there must be other people out there who felt the same and it turns out there is because most of you are from my driving videos so yeah even though I failed so many times and found it so hard it turned into a positive because the driving videos created this community of people that just want each other to pass and it's the best thing ever so I say turning negative into positive is to somehow make the experience help people and that'll make you feel 10 times better because who doesn't like to help people if you could switch lives with a celebrity who would it be Ooh. I'm gonna say Shay Mitchell. I just feel like she lives the coolest life ever. Like she travels all the time. She has her own business. She's always just doing the coolest shit. Either her or Desi Perkins. How do you deal with an ex that you're constantly on and off with? Okay, depending on why you broke up depends on how bad this is. Like if they were abusive and it was a toxic relationship, then I would just say lock it off. But if it was more of a we broke up because we just weren't feeling it and now we think we are, I don't see anything wrong with it. As long as you're both single, you're not cheating on anyone. But like I said, if it was a toxic relationship and they're abusive or whatever, do not, just don't. Just lock it off, throw away the key and turn around. But like I said, if it is just a light high thing, you're both single or whatever, then it's fine, but just know that one of you probably is gonna end up getting hurt because if you're not actually together, someone's gonna find someone. And then it's just gonna turn into a mess and no one wants a mess. I feel like you've got the judgment. I believe in you and you know if it's bad for you. And if it is, have you got a boyfriend, BTW, love you so much? Love you too. No. <laughs> if I hadn't made it obvious by now, no. Um, okay. If we're being honest, I'm not the most approachable person on like nights out and stuff. Honestly, you can ask my friends. 
this is my face in the club. But like I'm having the best time, so I don't, it's a weird one. But yeah, I've said this before, especially working from home and having left uni. It's hard to meet people unless you're just walking down the road. I mean, I guess it's the gym, but have you seen me at the gym? Also, I feel like for me, it's such a big thing introducing them to my family that I have to be picky. Because as you know, my family are really close and they have to fit in with that whole thing too. So it's not as simple as just getting a boyfriend, it's getting a family member. Like we were lucky with my brother's girlfriend that she fit in so well. I don't actually know how he found her, but now let's put loads of pressure on me because I feel like I have to find someone that meshes into the whole family dynamic. So until I find that, I'm gonna be single. How do you deal with body confidence, self-love and self-care? <sighs> I don't know if many of you know this, but I did not have a very smooth childhood not in like upbringing ways but in terms of like how i looked it just <laughs> it wasn't cute i was quite small as like a little kid and then when i went to school and into secondary school i put on quite a lot of weight and at one point i was just it was not a good time so yeah confidence was at an all-time low throughout secondary school best time to have no confidence honestly see so, yeah, i did go through years of just hating and i mean hating my body i can do a whole separate video on this because i feel like i've got a lot of experience in this and i've only realized now being older how much i actually didn't like my body like it was at the point where i cry every single night when i got home from school it was a typical comparing myself to other girls and when i was about 14 i realized that the way i was feeling about my body was not right and i didn't want to feel that way anymore so i started going to the gym and because i was so young the weight just dropped off i started eating a lot healthier and i started to feel so much better about my body but I will say, I probably did it for the wrong reasons. I feel like if you're not happy with your body and you do it safely, there's nothing wrong with wanting to change it. But you do need to think about where that's coming from, whether you're doing it for other people or for you. So I was doing it for me because I felt so crap. But the reason I felt crap was because I was comparing myself to other people. So it probably wasn't the best reason to start going to the gym. I would say there's no point in hating your body as it is today. Easier said than done. There's definitely days where I just don't. I just don't feel it but you do just have to enjoy the process nothing is permanent your body is keeping you alive it's literally why you're here so just cut it some slack sometimes but at the same time you do want to treat it well because it's going to be here for the long run that's all you this is all you got so you want to treat it good do you have a certain age you want to be married by <laughs> quick story time i don't know if i want to get married i know I know, but I just feel like I'd rather spend that money on like a sick year of traveling and then putting money down on a house or a flat. But then again, can you imagine how lit that wedding would be? No, I can't, no, don't. What's the actual question? Oh, age. Um, I don't have like a specific age. If I do end up getting married, I'd like to do it before I'm 30, I think. But if I don't, it's no big deal. I really like this boy and I think he likes me too, but I'm too scared to tell him. This reminds me of being 16. You're too scared to tell him, that's fine. That's understandable. If you feel like he likes you too and he's told you, I think you're in a good position to be able to tell him. If he hasn't told you yet, that's a sticky one. No, I'm gonna think of a game plan for you, okay? You probably need to make the conversation a bit more flirty. Like if you're talking as friends now, you need to make that transition. If you're already getting the vibes off him, then I'm sure he'll reciprocate it. And then you're gonna get closer and closer to a point where you can tell him that you like him. So I feel like people don't even really tell each other they like each other, to be honest. You kind of just both know. But if you change things and do things that might let them know, compliment them a bit. Take the piss out of them. Is that just me? Have you ever suffered from very low self-esteem? If so, how do you deal with it? So yeah, like I said, when I was younger, I definitely suffered from low self-esteem. But to be honest, that carried on probably up until uni, to be honest. Like, from what I remember, I've always compared myself to people. I never thought of myself as the best option. Wow, this is getting deep. But being older, and honestly, after studying psychology, it has helped me in a few ways. I've realised that that is just from a deep-rooted childhood insecurity, which has got a lot better, I'd say, from like 21 until now, because I just... I started to just not care. If I was 15 and told myself that I was going to start a YouTube channel, absolutely not. I was way too scared of what other people thought, but after I just did it, all of the reactions from people I knew from school and whatever has been so good. So yeah, as boring as it sounds, it definitely comes with age. I just feel like the older you get, the more you realise that you don't care as much about what the people do, so why should you care about what people think of you, you know? Because I don't care. Advice about friends who claim to be your friends but always leave you out. 
This makes me so angry. Okay, first of all, I just want to give you a hug and tell you it's all going to be okay because it is. Okay, again, thinking of a game plan for you. Right. I think the best thing to do in this situation is tell them. Only because if you tell them and then they know and they still do it, they're not your friends. Because they're aware that you feel like that and they're still doing it. If you have like a closer friend in the friendship group that you're a bit more comfortable talking to, maybe just pull them aside and tell them. Because sometimes, honestly, people don't know. Like they might think that you don't want to hang out with them and think that you want space. It is the worst feeling being left out and most of the time it will blow over. But if it doesn't, lock it off. I don't know if you're in school. If you are in school, talk to other people in your classes have lunch with some of the people, see what they're saying. But yeah, if you haven't spoken to them already, definitely speak to one of them, maybe. And if they carry on, they weren't worth it anyway, trust me. Okay, I think that's all the questions I'm gonna answer. There's actually a couple more. But I think I'm gonna do a part two of this, because I really, like, that was therapeutic. If you want, like, a boy talk, or, like, a specific topic, maybe, like, body confidence, my culture, anything like that, then let me know in the comments. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed that, I really did. If you are new, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check out some of my other videos, and yeah, cheers to being a girl.